So the next case that I want to talk about, it's another person that I've done a video on. Um, it's something that was kind of brewing in the background for quite some time. Um, and it's really, I was quite surprised. I was honestly expecting much worse out of this situation. And uh, things things seems like they've actually been resolved somewhat positively. So I'm talking about the situation with G Herbo. So he's just taken a sentence of three years probation. So he's not going to do any jail time, apparently. Three years probation in federal court in Springfield, Massachusetts, after pleading guilty cons to conspiracy to commit wire fraud, as well as making a false statement to the feds. Now, this was a pretty serious case, and there's more to it. Um, this was a pretty serious case. So uh, here's a pitchfork article, article about the situation. I always be cropping, uh, cropping articles off. I want to I wanna cut it loud and clear. I'm not trying to, I don't mean this in a hate away because this, this guy is the OG, but like, I know academics' streams are always like very disorganized. I, I, like, I want to try and make mine kind of neat and tidy if I can, but um, that's no disrespect to Ak. He's more focused on just guzzling Henny and making the shit crazy. I'm, I'm trying to do a little like neat, tidy presentation for y'all because I'm a nerd and he's a, he's a wild boy. But anyway, uh, whatever. Shout out to Ak, man, the goat. But anyway, G Herbo, he's been sentenced to probation in this federal fraud case and it was also interestingly ordered to pay restitution and a fine. Now, what's interesting is the restitution and the fine seems to be a damn, a damn lot shyer than the amount of money that was allegedly, uh, well, not even allegedly now because he's, uh, he's completed guilty. So, the amount of money that he's paying in restitution is a damn sight less than the money that was frauded. So G. Herbo was today sentenced in a Massachusetts federal court after pleading guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud and making a false statement to a federal official. The Chicago rapper who was facing up to 20 years in prison. So he was facing 20 in the feds. In the feds? In a federal court, he was facing 20 in the feds. And he done pleaded down to three years probation. Three years probation and being ordered to pay 139,878, which is a weird number. I feel like if I flip that number up upside down, it's going to spell boobs or some shit. They're, they're trolling with this. I, I think the case was millions. There was millions in fraud that had taken place. And he's only paying a like 139 racks. Three years probation. Bro, I might take the deal. I might I might go and embezzle a, f a few M's. Um, a $5,500 fine. I mean, it's nothing. It's, a, it's in the grand scheme of things. Pitchfork recently reached out to Herbo's attorney for comment. Now, in 2020, G. Herbo and five others were charged in a federal grand jury indictment. This feared, feared, federal feards. Um, accusing them of involvement in a fraud scheme that involved the alleged purchase of private jet charters, lavish car rentals, designer puppies, and more with stolen payment and credit card information. Millions of dollars, from what I understand, in designer puppies. Bro, I, that's like 139,000 restitution. That's like, what, four, five trips on the, on the private jet? Couple trips on the PJ? Bro, how much was he accused? I think it was like, I seem to remember it being like $1.5 million or something. Um, millions, right? What did Chicago Tribune said about it? Jamaican villas, private jets. I swear I read somewhere that it was 1.5 M's. It was a lot. It was a lot. Well, we can check that out in a second. I swear it was millions. Anyway. Um, da, 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 da. In 2023, Herbo agreed to a guilty plea after initially not pleading guilty. He also defended himself in the song Statement. A few months later, have I heard Statement? I have to check out statement. A few months later, Herbo, whose real name was Herbal Randall Wright, was additionally charged with making a false statement to a federal official. That song statement didn't do him any favors, did it? All right, let's hop on over to the worst formatted website in all of uh, American history, Genius.com, with some of the worst formatting. This website formatting is so bad, I might have to actually inspect the objects on the page and delete them. I might have to actually... In delete, I might have to delete a bitch. Did that help? Shit didn't help. Um, is there a way that I can just zoom in? I'll do like a zoom. Crash. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do. So he's apparently he's allegedly talking about the charges on here. What does he say? He's rapping shit with ease. I've got a brick on my sleeve. Talk about this paper. 
This is all he says. He says, but anyway, enough of that. I ain't lying. I was willing till we started spinning. Well, allegedly, you are lying to federal officials. Um, anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about this paper. Let's talk about them jets. Let's talk about Jabaker. Ask about me. I ain't never been a fraud. I went hard from the start. Is that it? Is that it? Is that what he told? Look, I love this lyric. I spent 130k out the gate. Yeah, you spent 130k in restitution, my G. 130k to the victims out the gate. At the gates of that prison, you are not going to because you're getting probation and that's a W. Anyway, um, on social media, Herbo had been boasting about an extravagant lifestyle. making an impression. He gave the impression that his use of private jets, luxury cars, tropical villas were the legitimate fruits of his booming rap career as G. Herbo. Acting United States Attorney Joshua Levy had said in a statement that his lavish lifestyle was shamelessly built on deceit fraud using stolen account information that inflicted substantial harm on numerous businesses leaving a wake of victims burdened with the financial losses this case should serve as a stark reminder that breaking the law leads to prosecution and accountability such as three years probation 130k my guy's gonna do it all over it i want to do it how can i get some i need to get some i need to crack some cards how can i crack some cards and start getting in on this action because clearly there is very little consequences this sort of behavior there was a lot to this story as well you know what's crazy so this chicago tribune article is really going to break it down this one really gets deep into it okay um it said chicago drill rapper g herbo grew up on the south side in an area dubbed terror town hey if you want to know more about that check out my documentary on him it's a far cry from the world of private jets topical villas and designer puppies his youth he was described in his he described his blunt lyrics dodging bullets and hanging out on the violent streets near 79th Street and Essex Avenue. But as his star rose with collaborations with the likes of Nicki Minaj and Chief Keef, the money rolled in. And Herbo, real name Herbert Wright III, started to realize it was time to move on from his past and embrace his new brown, newfound fame. Honestly, I'm just trying to capitalize and build other people up. He told the Tribune last year, I'm a firm believer that life is what you make it. I've been broke so many times, I was supposed to be dead. I was supposed to be in jail, but I'm still here. You're supposed to be in jail now, you got probation, bro. I need to crack some cards. Can somebody teach me how to crack cards? Can somebody send me the method? Can, can ban someone? Ban man Kevo. He knows. He does, he's the scam god, right? Somebody teach me how to crack cards. Now, Herbo finds himself with new difficulties. He's been named in a federal fraud case brought in Massachusetts, alleging he, his music promoter, and other members of his crew used stolen ID to charge more than a million dollars worth of exotic services over a four-year period. More than a million dollars worth of exotic services, and he's paying $138,000 in restitution. Sign me up. Sign me up, bro. I want in. I want to be part of the gang. I would like to please be part of the operation. Three years probation is nothing, bro. Three years three years flying around on private jets. Cracking cards. Cracking trays and cracking cards, bro. Get me, in, get me involved, bro. Herb, get me in. I want to be part of the gang. Among the ill-gotten gains were trips on private jets, limousine rides, exotic car rentals, a vacation at a villa in Jamaica, even two designer puppies purchased for Herbo himself from a dealer in Michigan in 2017. 2017, bro. He's been puppied up for six, seven years. And he ain't got to do no time. Crazy. Also charged in the alleged scheme were Antonio Tiglo Strong, rights promoter and manager, Southside rapper Joseph Joe Rodeo Williams. Joseph Joe Rodeo? Who the, f who the fuck is Joe Rodeo? Who the Joe Rodeo? Do's and don'ts for an opening act on tour by Joe Rodeo. Do! Commit credit card fraud and get designer puppies for G Herbo. Don't get caught and do three years probation. One yeah. second, nice. How was that experience? Uh, it was awesome. And, uh, I seen that you had opened up for Future recently. Okay. How was that experience? Uh, it was awesome. Due to He's so motivational, you know, like, it's just motivation just being around the atmosphere. Once again, shout out to Zoe Entertainment, because we grind and he pin me around these people. And it Boring. Anyway, um, bro, Joe Rodeo was getting on private jets, man. Other coast and co-conspirators. Um, crazy. A 14-count indictment. He finessed it, bro. He finessed it. It's crazy. So, uh... 
it was uh most serious starch was against tr strong so antonio t glow glow slosh antonio t glow strong was uh herbo's manager and promoter and he was apparently the most serious ringleader he was alleged to be the ringleader in a 1.5 million dollar fraud what's what's t glow getting that's what i want to know herbo's getting off scot free with 130k but Antonio T. Glow, let's see, because if T. Glow is getting the book thrown at him and Herbo's getting three years probation, I ain't going to cap. Um, I ain't going to cap. Maybe he's going to trial. Maybe he's going to trial, man. T. Strong has pled not guilty. Get setting rap promoter. Grounded. Um... Grounded by conditions of pre-trial release and fraud case. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. People saying we ain't going to mention Jamie Dimon. What's Jamie Dimon got to do with this? Identity Fred fraud case. So we don't care about G. Herbert. We're trying to hear about T. Strong right now. Lead defendant. Maybe T. Strong's going to take it to trial. Yuck, like thugger. Don't know how that's going to turn out for him. But anyway, G. Herbo, man. That's pretty much as big of a W as you can get, really. Absolute beast. Humble beast. Finesse millions. Got light fine like probation but he's now walking on egg eggshells he's like the low end after tay savage got out the hospital walking on eggshells bro if herbo does anything wrong one foot out of line one designer puppy too many and it could be over for him so he's got to be careful man but shout out to herbo shout out to t strong you know what i'm saying hopefully it's uh t glow anyway